Hi folks and welcome to another episode of Tableau in Two Minutes. Today we're going to be covering the difference between dimensions and measures and the difference between discrete and continuous items within Tableau. So basically the way these work is that each one of these items uh, is a column in our data set. So if we look at our data source you can see each item in the dimensions and measures pane over here represents a column within our data source. Now, there are sort of two types of columns. There are columns by which we want to divide our data, so we might want to segment something, um, and there are things that we want to, uh, to measure. The things that we want to measure are going to be things like sales. Uh, you can see we have sales, profit, discount, quantity. Those are all things that we would sum up, um, that we would aggregate, that we would average basically numbers. On the dimension side, we have things that we might want to compare. So we might want to compare what's happening between different products. We might want to compare what's happening between different regions. So these are things that are going to divide our data set. So let's take a look at how this works in practice. Let's take a product name, just drag that out to the rows shelf, and then take sales and drag that out also to the row shelf, actually let's put that on the column shelf, there we go. So now you can see that we have by product name, we have the sum of sales for that particular product. Now it might be that we don't want to look at sales, we want to look at region. And all these are doing, you see, is we're just dividing the data differently and it's telling us how we're going to aggregate sales and how we're going to compare. That's what our dimensions do. And then our measures are the things that we sum up. So we could do sum of sales, we could look at the sum of profit, etc etc. Now you'll notice that when we drag these out we have a blue pill for region and we have a green pill for profit. Blue pills represent items that are discrete. So that is each item is a single item. We can't sum up central and east for example. That, that wouldn't make any sense to try and do that. So these are items that are individual points. Nominal some would call them, uh, you might call them text fields in other contexts, strings. That's really what that means. It's not something that we're ever going to aggregate. It's something that we are going to use to divide our data in different ways. So it's what's called discrete, single points. Profit, on the other hand, that is continuous. Uh, it's also called, it would be numeric in other cases. Uh, it would sometimes be called an interval variable. And that's something that we can sum up. Um, that we can average, that we can count, etc, etc, etc. So, two different pieces of our visualization puzzle. Um, dimensions are often, but not always, discrete. Uh, measures are almost always continuous, but we could turn, for example, a product name into a measure And then it would count, you see, now we're doing a count of the product names. So instead of just having the product name, we've turned it into a count of all the different product names. So that sort of makes it a measure. Let's go ahead and move that back. There it is. All right. Now the way these work within the uh, visualization, as I said, is that we'll typically use dimensions to partition the data, and then we'll use, we'll, we'll aggregate the measures in some way, we'll perform some calculation on the measures in some way to give us this, um, this piece. One other thing I want to show you is that you can actually have um, a dimension that is continuous. So if we take order date out here, you'll see it defaults to a discrete form for the date. So we have a discrete for year, discrete for quarter, but we can actually, using these options down here, you see we have year, quarter, month, day, these are all going to be discrete in this top section, but down in this bottom section, these are going to be continuous. So you now see the pill has turned green because we're looking at a continuous version and the visualization has changed slightly as well. And if we wanted to look at sales, you can see how now we have a line graph because we're looking at a continuous date, depending on what we do up here, we might still have a quarter, but this will segment now. So it'll split this between the years because we're using discrete 
years and discrete quarters. Whereas if we go back to using years and quarters, um, it's still segmenting a little bit because we have quarter in there. That we go. So now it's looking instead of segmenting each year and having a pane for each year, we now have a continuous because it's green year and quarter all the way across our data set. So that's a basic introduction to how dimensions and measures function. Um, as I said, dimensions we use to partition our data. Measures are typically the thing that we want to sum up. Um, and dimensions are typically, but not always, discrete, so they contain individual items. And measures are almost always continuous um, because they are numbers, they're things that we will want to sum up, average, otherwise uh, analyze. So that does it for this episode of Tableau in Two Minutes. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, if you like what you hear, then uh, go ahead and hit subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next time.